What's up guys and gals, Sanitary 103. Welcome to another episode of In The News. And today's article, I'll put a link to the article in the description box. But if you go to Google and you just type in woman gets kicked out of Planet Fitness, um, multiple articles will probably pull up. But the one I have right here, basically, for people that don't know, and if you haven't heard, there's a lady um, that worked out at Planet Fitness and um, she basically got kicked out or she decided to uh, leave the facility and cancel her membership because she was getting harassed. And the reason why she was getting harassed, according to uh, her story, is that one of the staff members at Planet Fitness came up to her and told her that she was uh, dressing uh, too um, provocatively. I don't know the exact words, but definitely a look in the uh, article. But basically that she was showing too much skin and it was intimidating other gym members. Now, if you go to the article or you look at the actual video that's linked within the article, if you look at the her outfit, it, it looks fine. It's not like she was wearing a thong or something, you know? If you look at it, it was, she was wearing a pink, like a halter top. She was showing a little bit of, of her uh, abdomen, her ab region, and uh, that's pretty much it, but I guess according to Planet Fitness, and they have mottos such as uh, no uh, gym intimidation and uh, a judgment-free zone at Planet Fitness. And Planet Fitness is uh, known for trying to have a very um, friendly and non-intimidating um, gym environment, which is really good for a lot of people that initially start going to the gym and feel intimidated. But to me, I think this is a little bit extreme. It's good that Planet Fitness is trying to promote this judgment-free uh, environment, but this lady felt like she was the one being harshly judged. So it's definitely hypocritical uh, from her viewpoint. This isn't one of the first times that this has happened at Planet Fitness. According to this article, back in uh, 2006 in uh, New York City, a man was removed from a facility uh, for incessant grunting, which he claims was him just breathing hard. Now, once again, I don't have all the facts uh, with that story, but if you're gonna push a lot of weight or work out really hard, excessive grunting can be annoying. I totally get that. But if he was just breathing hard and they were trying to reprimand him, then if that's the case, then I'm just not gonna set foot inside of Planet Fitness. I don't plan to anyway. Uh, I already have a gym. It's pretty dirt cheap, but it has all the bare essentials and I haven't had any problems with my gym. It's, uh, it's It has a good balance. It, not too many meatheads, but it's not really anal retentive like uh, these Planet Fitness uh, stories like I've been uh, mentioning. But I want to get your guys and gals opinion on this. Definitely look at the article, watch the video. Let me know if you think the outfit was uh, too skimpy and too intimidating. That's about it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comment section what you guys and gals think. The other thing I want to ask you is if you do go to Planet Fitness, I definitely want to hear your experience. Personal experience is the best thing that I want to hear from. So if you go to a Planet Fitness or you have in the past or you know someone that's gone there, let me know your experience. Is this just an isolated incident you think or do you think that Planet Fitness is just being a little bit too aggressive with trying to maintain the peace? Thanks once again for watching this video. Comments, questions, always welcome like I mentioned. I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye.